Welcome to another Raw Tingles. Um, if you've never seen Raw Tingles before, the basic concept of the video is that it is just a really simple trigger video with no theme, no role playing, no special effects, and very minimal editing. Um, and I focus mainly on up audio and visual triggers. And the other um, element <laughs> to the Raw Tingles video is the use of a second camera right there to give you guys a sort of behind the scenes look at my process when I make a video. there's minimal editing, I will leave in all the sounds that I would normally take out or errors or mess ups that I would normally take out so you guys get to <laughs> experience those. The only sounds that I edit out really are sounds that would be abrasive to you and disrupt. know that this is the second Raw Tingles in a somewhat short span of time. I normally do um, space out my different types of videos a little bit more than this, but um, the reason <laughs> that I'm doing another Raw Tingles so soon is in preparation for um, videos that I expected to make for that trip, which um, really didn't end up happening. I made a couple, but I ended up just really not being able to get to all the videos that I wanted to while I was gone. It was a very busy trip, and I wasn't really able to make many videos before. Which was the goal. <laughs> so now I have lots of raw tingles types uh, of items. Items that would be appropriate for a raw tingles video and I want to go ahead and use them since they're here. That's why I'm making another one of these so soon after the last one. So I hope you don't mind. I hope you enjoy. So there's that. Um, so I'll show you the items that I have for you today. Uh, first one I'm going to show you is going to be really fun, I think. This is called Gobbledygook, and it's a make-your-own slime kit found at the craft store. First thing we're gonna do. That'll probably take up um, three quarters of the video. And then the next item that I have is it's wrapped 
wrapped up right now, but it's a big kind of floral design reeds thing. I know I've done a few of these types of things in round angles before, but I'm gonna do it again. And it's also a craft store item. up and check out our instructions for making gobbledygook. multicolored slime. Easy, fun, and fast to make. Lasts for months and makes over a gallon of slime. Fantastic. Just what I've always wanted. A gallon of slime. Um, so this is actually a page of Goop is used to purify water during the manufacture of cement. Gobbledy goop is used in hydro seeding to make seeds stick to the soil. You can make lots of different colors of slime. You can make thick or thin slime by varying the amount of water that is added. And slime lasts for weeks. And this is a page of a bunch of experiments that you can do other than just mixing it up. It just has little suggestions for things to try. Okay, let's go ahead and read our recipe. This says the key to creating the perfect consistency slime is to stir the powder, powder evenly into the water. If it clumps, no, if it clumps together, it will not form smooth slime. For best results, follow these instructions carefully. Okay, let's start. It says, pour half a cup of water into a cup. I'm going to use where can Now 
that says place desired placed place desired colored tablet in water and let dissolve for one minute. Okay. So a little package of multicolored or different colors tablets. that's um, finishing up the dissolving process. We'll keep reading the instructions. The next step is to slowly sprinkle one teaspoon, which I have here, of powder while stirring briskly. in and then stir it up briskly. So you don't want to let it clump together. So I'm going to try and really stir out all the clumps. Thank you. 
says, sprinkle another teaspoon of powder into the cup. There we go. Mustard. do have a cup of water in here. Yeah, it's pretty much perfect. Add our next color tablet. I think this one is going to be That blue one's gonna turn out how I want it to. I don't think I was stirring it properly, but I, um, I grabbed a spoon, a second spoon just for stirring, a little plastic one. That will hopefully make this bench a little better.
put in our teaspoon of powder. another tea. one is not a very pleasant This one looks purple. Beats. like a 
dog or something. It doesn't really smell like anything. know when this happened, but <laughs> Rod Tingles kind of became like my weird video of the week. <laughs> I always do. <laughs> kind of bizarre, somewhat experimental things in this video. It wasn't really ever intended to be things that I think would make cool trigger videos and they are often kind of bizarre. But they're fun. Okay. So yeah, this is We add a bit more water now. This time I'm not going to add the full cup, I don't think. I'll try and make this one uh, a little bit like thicker and easier to handle. So I just put in a little bit of water. And then we're going to stir in. This one's gonna be thicker than the other ones. Which is good, that's what we want. over here and I think we're ready to maybe check on our blue one seem 
like something that you can like really hold in your hands. The way you could with a pickaxe. Ugh, but the same. It's gross. But it's kind of fun, actually. <laughs> That's one of those messy ones. <laughs> those messy videos. <laughs> um, I want to try mixing. I'm gonna go get a little, another little bowl. I'll be right back. Okay. Grab a little bowl. I'm gonna try and see if I can get a green thing going on here. Ew. I was getting the red stuff. way more easy to, to use. Okay, I'm gonna spoon a little bit of the blue in there. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. advice if you decide to buy this product and play with it then you might want to get some paper towels or rags to keep on hand It looks like this is going to be a cool green color. There's a big lump in it. Yeah, this isn't really <laughs> stuff you can just. of turning green. So that's cool. I'm going to try and do a purple one with the blue and the pink next. I wonder if it's too late to like add some of the powder to it to this thicken. All it is is just forming little clumps. <laughs> oh my god, this is gross. The sounds are kind of cool now. Let's just do that. Definitely turning kind of green. That's cool.
feel like this has just turned into an episode of Zoom. Do you remember that show? to anyone I completely understand if it's not because this has become really gross but it's also kind of fun to play with how slimy Clean my hands off and then attempt to make some purple. And then we'll move on to our next trigger after that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let me mix these two up. English color. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think that's gonna look good. going to be pretty purple. If it will mix, it's not really mixing very well. mixing as much as just kind of folding it all in together like play-doh sort of Gross. Maybe as purple as I'm gonna get it. Now might be <laughs> a good time to move on. To our next trigger. But this is definitely. 
really been fun <laughs> and interesting and gross and disgusting. Okay, I'm not gonna make the mistake of putting my hands in that again because it took me a hot minute <laughs> to wash off. I had to use hot water to rinse it all off and it took a second. Okay guys, well there you have it. <laughs> Cobbledygoop. Interesting, fun if you're maybe seven years old. I don't know if I'd say it's worth the time investment though because it's really hard to handle and play with once it's uh, thickened. <laughs> but made for a fun video, kind of. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. that debacle. There's our second item. And it's wrapped up in a little plastic sleeve at the moment, which I'll remove in a second. First I thought I'd
You've enjoyed this raw tingles video.
peaceful sleep. Seeing you again. Pumpkin King from Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs>